Hey everyone, um, I decided to finally come back to YouTube. I know it's been a while, but I really wanted to get back into it and start doing videos for you. So I'm just going to jump right into it. So I am first going to apply my concealer all over my eyelid um, and just spread it all over. Next, I'm going to take my Jaclyn Hill Morphe eyeshadow palette ring the alarm I actually love this palette so much it is really pretty it has so many bronze and golds and brown shades in it um i honestly use this almost every single day um so i really do enjoy it i'm gonna go in with one of the lighter um, orange shades and i'm going to blend that into my entire crease Now I already did my eye eyeliner, so I'm going to just pop on some lashes by House of Lashes. I don't know the name of them, but I'll definitely list everything below. Next, I'm going to put my moisturizer on before I do my skin. I'm using the Wet n Wild foundation, which is really amazing. I do love that one. It has like, um, kind of like a, a tool when you pick it up and it's easier to spread out the, the um, product on your face. My foundation was actually a little too dark um, through when I was looking at the mirror. So I went in with my El Maquillage foundation that I absolutely love. I'm almost out of it. And I just put that more so in the center of my face. Next, I'm just taking my airspun um, powder and just spreading that under my eyes in the center of my forehead, beside my nose, just so nothing creases. Now I'm just taking my NYX bronzer and putting that all over my forehead, cheeks, and my jawline. Now I am contouring my nose with my Pretty Vulgar eyeshadow palette. I love this shade just because it has that grayer tone to it and it's not orange or super brown. Um, it looks definitely more natural. I am taking another product I have from El Maquillage um, in their brown shade and filling in my brows. I usually like to go upwards to make the eyebrow hair look more natural and when I get towards the end I fill in the rest of the brow.
Now I'm moving on to blush. This is my Olimar, I think is how you say it, Tria Blush Palette that I got in my BoxyCharm. And I love it so much. I am obsessed with the two shades in the front. It has more of an orange tone and more of a brighter pink in the center. Um, those are my two go-to shades. I'm taking another product from El Maquillage. Um, this, you can't really see it, but it is an eyeliner pencil, but it has more of a nude to it. Um, I only use white and nudes when I am lining my eyes, just because my eyes are smaller at times. Um, I do like to make them look nice and big. Now I'm taking my Everglow palette by Gade Cosmetics and I'm just highlighting my cheeks. And I did highlight the rest of my face earlier. That is actually it for this look. This is something I would most likely probably wear all the time um, or it's just a go-to look to always have. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video.